and gentlemen, your worship, Madam Consul, and especially those who are family of, and ancestors, not, I'm sorry, descendants of Pilate Darrell, we welcome you here to St. Peter's this morning, this afternoon. Those of you who don't know me, I'm Reverend Marie and I am the um, interim priest at St. Peter's and I stand today in shoes that I can no wise fill for Dr. Erskine um, Simmons is unable to be with us, so in his place I offer you a very warm welcome to this service and uh, pray that it will be a time of remembering and a time of looking forward and a time of honoring. We're going to stand and sing the opening hymn, Jesus Savior Pilot Me, so as you're able, please stand. recite it so that everyone can join in saying together Jesus Savior pilot me over life's tempestuous sea unknown waves before me roll hiding rock and treacherous shoal chart and compass come from thee Jesus Savior pilot me as a mother stills her child thou canst touch the ocean wild boisterous waves obey thy will when thou sayst to them be still Wondrous Sovereign of the Sea, Jesus Savior, pilot me. When at last I near the shore, and the fearful breakers roar, twixt me and the peaceful rest, then while leaning on thy breast, may I hear thee say to me, Fear not, I will pilot thee. You may be seated, and we'll ask Charlotte to come for our first reading. Today I'm reading from Psalms 107, King James Version, verse 1 to 3, and then from 23 to 32. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. Let the redeem of the Lord say, so whom he hath redeemed them from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of their lands, from the east, from the west, and from the north, and from the south. They that go down to the sea in ships, do th that do business in great waters, these see the works of the Lord and his wonders in the deep. For he commanded and he riseth the stormy wind, which lifted up the waves thereof. They mount up to the heaven, they go down again to the depths, the soul is melted because of trouble. They reel to and fro, stagger like a drunken man, and at their wit's end, then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distress. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad because they be quiet, so he bringeth them unto their desired haven. Oh, that man would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders. This is the reading of the word.
second reading is from Luke 8, 22 through 25. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples, and he said unto them, Let us go over unto the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and there came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they, being afraid, wondered, saying to one another, What manner of man is this? For he commandeth even the winds and the water, and they obey him. This is the word of the Lord. I'd like to say good afternoon for the dignitaries uh, and uh, relatives and friends. It's a pleasure for Eugene Joe on Qatar. It's a pleasure for me. Uh, we were here last year. We made our first appearance here together. And we're back again this year. And my name is Jade Minus. Thank you very much. Yeah, this, this first tune is, uh, I think everyone knows it, is What a Wonderful World. That was by Louis Armstrong. and. The second tune that we'll do is a Duke Ellington tune uh, in a sentimental mood. That's one of my old time favorites. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 
Um, Marcel Williams to come now and, br and bring a tribute. Great standards, peace. Five 
James Jimmy Terrell. James Jimmy Terrell was born a slave in April 1749. As, a, as an accomplished pilot later in his career, Pilot Terrell assisted hydrographer Thomas Hurd of the Royal Navy to sound the existing channels and search for new channels and anchorages for Royal Navy ships. Pilot Darrell's extraordinary and historic feat of piloting Rear Admiral George Mary's flagship, the 74-gun battleship Resolution, into what later became known as Morris Anchorage, was an achievement which so impressed the Admiral, he wrote the following letter to the Bermuda Governor James Crawford, asking him to menumi Darrell. Following letter resolution, May 17, 1795. Sir, I beg leave to congratulate Your Excellency on His Majesty's ship resolution, having come into the new anchorage at the back of St. George's as the asserting of the principality and safety of which must be attended with the most beneficial consequences to the islands under your government. His Majesty's Naval, and to Great Britain in general. James Darrell, who piloted the ship in his great merit for his ability and steadfastness, and seems to have taken much pains to qualify himself for such an important duty, both from Lieutenant Hurd's instructions and his own observations. On inquiry, I have learned that he is a slave, which induces me to give it as my opinion to his to your excellency excellency that it would be attended with great advantage to the islands under your government as well as the service i have the honor to belong to if his freedom could be purchased by government by which merit would be rewarded and others stimulated to qualify themselves for that important service g maury on the death of his owner in 1796, Pilot Darrell was manmuted and became the first documented black man to purchase property in Bermuda. When Admiral Maury established the King's Pilots, a list of pilots qualified to serve the Admiralty, Pilot Darrell was the first to be appointed. The Bermuda Pocket Almanac in 1857 published by the Royal Gazette, quoted a Lieutenant Evans R.M., who was spending time in Bermuda, asserted, the pilots here are the most expert I have ever met with. An instance once occurred in which the frigate was taken back, a frigate was taken aback in the North Rock Channel, and the pilot, James Darrell, with great coolness and presence of mind, had the vessel's sail shortened, backed her through the more intricate part of the channel until he had room to rear ship and then proceeded by the usual course past St. Catherine's Point to the sea. That reference was from Dr. Kenneth E. Robinson's Heritage Book, 17, um, 1979. Pilot Darrell led petitions advocating for the property rights of black Bermudians and fair payment of Bermuda pilots. He demonstrated resilience and resistance. His importance to the St. George black community is reflected in the inscription on his grave marker. I think that's the grave marker beside that gentleman. In memory of James Darrell, who died April 12, 1815, aged 66 years old, in his public life as a servant to his country, he obtained the general approval of his talents and worth. In his private walk as a member of his community, his name will long be remembered for his usefulness and integrity. His faith in Christ and his many works of charity eminently proved him a Christian. Gone now to God, his final rest in his enjoyment to be blessed. Gone now to heaven, the seat of bliss, 
his pleasure in perfection is. Thank you. Mayor Darling, U.S. Council Gazette, MP Levita Fugger, we saw you come in. I'm just not sure where you are. Thank you to the descendants of Pilot Darrell and to everyone gathered. I invite you to join me in prayer. Eternal God, our Father, as we are gathered in this place, time stamped with the lives of men, women, and children. We pray, O oh God, that even as we've come together in respect and remembrance of the life of James Darrell, we pray, O oh God, that we, our own lives will be forged in the same pattern of his, who with skill and determination, as well as a willingness to serve others, we now celebrate right now. We pray that we would, in his way, copy and mold our lives so that as he did in serving his Lord, so will we. And we pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Let's pray the prayer the Lord Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'm going to invite you to stand and sing this next hymn. I'm going to lead it. Follow me if you dare. <laughs> Won't you stand with me? Almighty God, creator of the sea, the land, and heavens above, who formed all things by his command, who holds all power in his hand. Hear us as we our voices raise to give you heartfelt thanks and praise. This is to the hymn tune of eternal father strong to save once again if you dare follow me <laughs> almighty god creator of the sea the land and heavens above who formed all things by his command who holds all power in his hand hear us as we our voices raise to give you heartfelt thanks and praise O oh god who by your power and grace has set us in this blessed place where beauties rare your love reflect, where winds caress and reefs protect. Hear us as we our voices raise to give you heartfelt thanks and praise. For many men who paved the way that we might see a better day. James Darrow, who served selflessly in spite of bonds of slavery. Hear us as we our voices raise to give you heartfelt thanks and praise. Gone now to God is final rest in his enjoyment to be blessed. Gone now to heaven the seat of bliss his pleasures in perfection is. Join all as we our voices raise to God in heartfelt thanks and praise. 
Oh, let the people of God say amen. Amen. Be <laughs> seated. We will now ask a blessing upon these reefs that will be then laid at the gravestone of James Darrell. Blessed Eternal Father, we want to thank you for the tokens we are about to lay in remembrance of James Darrell, of his duty and his example. And we pray, O oh God, that even as we honor him in this way, so will we encourage and motivate ourselves. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Can we have a member from the Friends of St. Peter's to lay the wreaths, please? There were two. We're about to sing. Jamie wrote the. I was say Michael. <laughs> I say Michael wrote the boat ashore. Jamie wrote the boat ashore. Hallelujah. And uh, once again, if you dare follow me, come along. Jamie rode the boat ashore. Hallelujah. Jamie rode the boat ashore, hallelujah. Jamie rode the boat ashore, hallelujah. Jamie rode the boat ashore, hallelujah. Michael rode, no! Jamie rode the boat ashore, Hallelujah, Jimmy rode the boat ashore, hallelujah. Amen. I'm glad you brought your voices. I'm going to ask you to stand, please, as we sing the national anthem. God save our gracious King, long live our noble King, God save the King. Send Him victorious, happy and glorious, long to
Remain standing, please. And we want to say a particular thanks to the BDA branch pilots who have made this a special day and to the Admiral Summer Sea Cadets who've done such an admirable job. And I'll ask you to bow your heads as we pray a benediction. Eternal God, you who rule the raging of the seas and set the bounds to the ocean, you rule as well the raging seas of our troubled world and relationships. And we thank you that you guided Pilot Darrell safely through the treacherous seas of our island home and the even more treacherous seas of slavery. We thank you that you piloted him to freedom and that using that freedom, he made the way for those who would follow. May we remember him this day and be inspired by his deep faith, his courage, his integrity and steadfastness and skill. May we too seek freedom for all your children and may you who calm the troubled sea of Galilee lead us all to the safe haven of your grace. We ask this in Jesus' name and for his sake. And in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, I pray God's best blessing upon you, calm seas, and good sails. We invite you to the reception that is um, at the dinghy club, and I think there's a boat race going to happen for us to see. East End Mini, not the dinghy club. Pardon? East End Mini, not the dinghy e club. East End Mini. Yeah. Thank you, Liz. Okay. And I hear there is some sort of collection, and uh, no, there is not. Thank you. Yes, there is a collection. <laughs> we, have pilot, we have the pilot warden here standing by with his hat to receive any, any donation that will assist us going forward in the maintenance of this Thank you. We thank you for being here and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. <laughs>